Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Officer Blake Aiden. I'm Gaina. I'm Soph. And today we have Conan Bus Jordan Schlansky on his Elitis Espresso machine. Yes. These are a, 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 a quality duo, I reckon. They are. And I can't wait yeah. to see this espresso machine. I'm very, yeah, very you, you excited. Yeah, you love your espresso machines. You've got like four in the house, don't you? I was going to say, if you, you've and then got you've got two machines. upstairs. I've got... And you've probably got one in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we don't, we don't have a basement. Don't have a basement, like, <laughs> live in the top floor flat. <laughs> no, I've got like the Nespresso machine, which you just push the button and like the little pods. Yeah. But then I've also got one where you put the beans in and it grinds them for you and makes Ooh. all different. And can you taste the difference though? Because I always think, is it a bit like a placebo effect? You or does can't. it actually taste better when the beans are grounded? They do. Have you never had one from upstairs? From the the coffee machine, from the one where you put the money in. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell the difference? I can to like instant coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely tastes a lot stronger, a lot yeah. nicer. Yeah. Mm. I need to get one. I need to get a, machi a coffee machine. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Uh, Conan and Bus Jordan Slansky and his elitist espresso machine. Well, I'm sorry to say there's a bit of a controversy brewing backstage here at the Conan Show. And brewing is actually an apt term to use because it involves an espresso machine and one Mr. Jordan Schlansky. <laughs> investigating this crime now, starting off with Mr. John Croteau. How are you, John? Doing great. Tell us about the espresso machine. People are saying that there's an expensive new machine and that Jordan only lets a few people have access to it. Now, Jordan loves Italy. Right. And in fact, mm -hmm. may believe that he's Italian. Yes. Even though his last name is Schlansky. <laughs> Do you know what Jordan does on the show? Um, not really. Are you worried at all for Jordan telling me this? No. Why? He's, he's, he's so, like, dead. He doesn't, I don't think... <laughs> I don't mean dead, but, you know... He's dead? You know, there's, like, nothing, nothing I'm facing him. Yeah. Okay, I'm headed back into Jordan Schlansky's office to confront him about this espresso machine. Uh, his office is... Fair with Conan, I feel like he's always wearing the same thing. Yeah. Like he looks always like he's always jacket. wearing that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Accessible, like everyone else's, it's hidden away. That was Jordan's choice, let's find out why. <laughs> go through this stuff. And you gotta go through here. Then, you gotta go through here. <laughs> Jordan, hey. put on a Brian here. First of all, your office is a mess, okay? <laughs> As always. Have you been on hoarders yet? Uh, you have an espresso machine here. There is an espresso machine here. What's the difference between what you said I don't and have I said? it. Pardon I me? Don't, I don't have it. It's here. Doesn't mean I have it. What do you mean? I understand. I use it, but I don't have it. Have it implies that I own it. I don't own it. Oh, you don't own it? No, I don't own it. Who purchased the machine? You actually own it. You purchased <laughs> everything in this office. I did? Yes. Did I buy you this? Italian almond biscotti? No, that was free. This is a free biscotti? Yes, biscotto. Pardon me? It's a biscotto. <laughs> biscotti? That would be if there was more than one. There's only one. <laughs> would you take me out and show me the espresso machine, please? Yes. This is a Lavazza Blue LB2312 espresso machine. The machine retails for between five and $700. Mm -hmm. It's an expensive machine. Well, I suppose that's relative. There are espresso machines that cost $5,000. Why didn't you go for one of those? I didn't want to spend your money needlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that you were forthcoming about the location of the machine and that everyone was welcome to use it? I want you to understand that it's not my responsibility to be forthcoming and to make announcements of any time. <laughs> I suggested this purchase be made. I'm not its caretaker or its wrangler. Do you, think, do you find that it, do you find it, do you find it at all interesting that the machine is located, let me see how many steps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven feet, actually a little more because I've got big feet and ladies do the math. <laughs> I'm noticing right now that the instructions on the machine are in Italian. Do you think that's at all off-putting to people who want to use the machine and don't speak Italian? I think you're making the assumption that I chose the display language. Furthermore, Italian is a beautiful language, and I don't see the problem with having Italian instructions on the machine. So you made a decision for the group? Yes, I did. The way Mussolini made a lot of decisions <laughs> for his country. Another Italian who had a dream of things running smoothly. I've been very welcoming of everybody to use it, and I've tried to oh, very, use this. Very welcoming. Uh, the Fuhrer uh, was behind fewer doors 
in his bunker in 45. <laughs> I'm going to make that clear. I had to walk through, I believe, seven doors to get here. You could not hide a coffee machine better. If Osama bin Laden was cringing near this coffee machine, he'd be alive today because no one would ever have found him. I take it this is the infamous sign, Espresso 101. You wrote these instructions? I use this as an opportunity to educate the staff, who's largely American, on what a problem Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a bit much, that, yeah, isn't that. it? Look for an A4 page <laughs> Instructions of how to use it. I'm sure, it's probably, you just probably push a button and it goes. That's what I'm saying, it. yeah. <laughs> I'm noticing that you talk about United States and Americans almost with contempt. Do you realise that you're from Buffalo? <laughs> you, you have a derisive tone towards these Americans. I have a derisive tone towards the quality of coffee served in the U.S. You hate American coffee. I've never had a sip of American coffee. You won't drink coffee in this country. I, believe in this I don't believe in drip brew coffee. Jordan, quick question. What are you responding? Well, how does he know it's bad then if he's never tried it? Very true. Yeah, exactly. And then also, if he didn't have the instructions in Italian, maybe he wouldn't have needed to write a page of notes for people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. Yeah. Disabilities on this show. I have various duties. My title is associate producer. It's the greatest non-answer I've ever heard. <laughs> various duties, and this is my title. Care to come clean? What is it you do? I have various production-related tasks. If you use the word various one more time, I'm having you arrested. <laughs> what is your job? Associate producer. What do you do when you come in to work? Uh, various from different uh, things. <laughs> very various. This is my title. You are one crafty fake Italian. <laughs> what I'm going to do is remove this machine for a period of time, and I'm going to replace it <laughs> with this machine. This is the wind mirror. As far as I know, it's not even a coffee cup. I think they made lawnmowers until they went out of business. It's dirty. It's old. It has a simple on-off switch. In English, <laughs> God bless America, you son of a bitch. And you will make your coffee. I think this is blood, by the way. Not sure. You will make your coffee out of this machine. That's right, drip coffee. And you will drink it for a week. Well, my investigation's complete. Punishment's been meted out. This is Conan O'Brien saying this is Conan O'Brien saying this guy's not a coward. I like to Slatsky and his new coffee machine, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll take a break. <laughs> that good, isn't it? He, he probably thinks he's Italian, though, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why that is white shirt as well. He just seems to think he's like quite elite, doesn't he? About yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everything. Yeah. Anything he does. I don't know. I'm not actually too like. He could be putting on a character for the camera, really. Do I don't you know think. I, mean? I think he's really like that. I think you can't fake being that. Like he's very. What's I don't the think I've ever like... seen him smile. No. Yeah. No, it's. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he is yeah, an yeah, odd he's one. funny though. He's funny. <laughs> no, he is. He is really funny. But yeah. his, his office drives me mad. It's no, yeah. All, it's, the it's always, all the time. Yeah. I could not live yeah. in that. I'm not live like, work in that. No, I couldn't. Mess. It, it drives me mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below, please. Thank yes. you. And we'll catch you in the next one. And Cheers. don't forget about our Patreon channel. Just $3 a month. We've got lots of stuff on there if you want to check us out. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye.